Do you remember why you're a landscape photographer? That's what I want to talk about in today's video. So I brought this topic up in my newsletter earlier this week, and I thought I warranted a short video today to talk about taking some time to stop, pause, and remember why you're a landscape photographer. So every year from about Thanksgiving through the end of the year, I take a moment to sort of stop, pause, regroup, and figure out what worked well for me this year as a photographer, what things I want to improve next year, and sort of work from there. You know, the YouTube channel, plan for some workshops, things like that. So I like to take that little gap of year, the fall slowed down, the trips are, you know, less in number, so, and do some planning for the next year. So last week I sort of kicked that process off with a short trip where I went out with the concept of exploring was the primary focus and I just happened to have camera in hand. So that subtle shift in mindset really sort of changed the dynamic of the whole trip for me. And I think it was very valuable to do and to remind yourself why you got into landscape photography to begin with. So on that most recent trip, when I went out, it was more about exploring, going to a new spot in the park I hadn't been to before, and less about I've got some new piece of gear to test, I've got some video to make, or I'm going after the certain shot because the water's gonna be just right and I wanna make sure I get it. It was very much more focused on the hike, enjoying the hike and going to a new spot while I happened to have a camera with me. And in order to help facilitate that, I even stripped down my camera bag before I went. I took one camera body, no backup, I took two lenses just so I had a little bit of variety, but I took all my video equipment out, all my audio equipment out, no drone, really lightened the pack down to just sort of what I would consider the essentials. One camera body, two lenses, and a tripod, and then headed out to explore. And that trip was very refreshing. Um, I took some pictures while I was out there. You know, you can't help it. You're a photographer and, you know, landscape photography and exploration do go hand in hand. So I think as landscape photographers, it's easy for us to get caught up in wanting that latest, greatest gear, chasing that perfect shot, or, you know, always working on some technique where you're always trying to, you know, work to improve that technique. And while improving technique and learning more and practicing in the field is great, sometimes there's something to be said and very refreshing to just head out explore you happen to have a camera so when you see something that's interesting and neat you can take a picture of it you've got the equipment there but it's really more about enjoying the whole experience instead of being laser like goal focused on the landscape photography aspect of it and for me that's one of the reasons i picked up landscape photography was sort of it was a convenient excuse to go outdoors it was hey i'm gonna go outside and take pictures it got me outside it got me hiking it got me exploring and the camera was sort of a vehicle to go out and have that exploration and enjoy that experience it's real easy, especially when you try to turn photography into a business or you know, you're know you super focused on making improvements to sort of get wrapped up in the photography and almost forget why you're out there to begin with. And that's what I wanna encourage you to do. Go for a hike with the camera, go enjoy the day, enjoy exploring, enjoy being outside, reflect on why you got into landscape photography to begin with and embrace that. So like I said, super short video today. I just wanna take a moment to remind people to sort of take a moment, Reset before the end of the year. Think about why you got into landscape photography and really enjoy it for what it is. So thanks for watching. And if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see future landscape photography content from me, including tips, tricks, mini gear reviews, behind the scenes, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you.